Hey guys, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. If you missed the last episode, we are inside the Mind Flare Colony. And there's only one thing left for us to do, and that's to take the fight to Kethrick. Uh, it sounds like a ton of fun to do a Dark Urge on Twitch. Awesome. Having deja vu day of Act 3. Which part? Descend. Obviously, don't give, me too, don't give me spoilers, but is there another party wipe situation? I bet that's a horrible feeling. It's almost like it's excited by something. Drawn to it. Well, it's not a party in our pants, but it is a party in our head, apparently. As I'm stuck. Why? Come on. There we go. Alright, team. Let's do this. I don't need anything we need to cast. We should be okay. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The absolute is behind this door. Nope. Trying to save Wolstad. Oh. Uh, enter. I don't think I have that quest anymore. I'm not sure though. All right. And save the Gondians. Yeah. I don't know about that, but that does sound like a fun situation. There are three people there. We're in dialogue. Oh, here we go. But one's obviously Kethrick. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker. Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Oh, they know salute. each other. Yes, with cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure, like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from him. We are a badass. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Kethrick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. Wait, what? So you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. Was Isabel dead? His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane. The Lash of Bane. Uh, yeah, our tiefling bard hate our tiefling Bob hates Gortash. Yeah, I've learned that. <laughs> the motherfucker gave that away. Uh, enough said, I can extend the Gauntlet of Shard. Don't say these things, Harry. I hated the Gauntlet of Shard. Don't say there's more stuff like it. The Testament of Merkel. Well, there's our Elder Brain. An Elder Brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The absolute. That's Will's dad, right? Us. You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. 
Oh boy. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. We're going to kill all of you. <coughs> We're going to murder all of you. It ain't even going to be close. Oh, that's fun. Okay. From head to toe, Dane's is inspired. What was inspiring about that? There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. The fight's coming up will probably test your patience. Oh, Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry. Uh, oh boy. Uh, I'm here to snap out this whole evil plot and you along with it. Finer champions than you have tried and failed. But perhaps they lacked the fear that drives you. Your freedom hanging in the balance. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired. The one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute. And then, take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. This you guy is so cool. You all between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. I fucking love him. He looks cool. He's got a great motivation. His voice is awesome. This is a great bad guy. Like, this is a top-tier villain for a video game. You plan on betraying your allies? Yes. At least he's honest. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. Alright. Here goes nothing. Free Night Song. Use the help action to free Night Song from Ketherick's soul cage. Okay, so she's over there. Got a bunch of dudes here. Okay. Right, how are we going to do this? A mind flare up here. Okay. And then there's you there. Okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can't make it to you, okay. Right, let's go. Come on. Invulnerable. Oh, fuck. Ha, huh. okay. Lots of surprises, beware. Okay. That's a fun little surprise. Um,. Right, we're going to dash. No, and... Um, yeah, we are. Okay. And go here. Okay. 
I'm gonna start a frenzy. Yep. Okay. My good old little thing, you're gonna come this way. Jahira. You could wild shape into a raven. Because then you can fly, right? Yep. As far as you can. You are going to be my hero here. Not enough movement speed. Can I dash? I can. Good. As far over here as possible. Awesome. And what we'll do is we'll leave her in that because then she gets an extra 13 hit points. That's fine. We'll take that. Only night someone can truly spank Ketherick. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You guys will come after me. Oh, that's a big hit. Okay. Shadowheart. Have to keep going. We are going to do Guide of Faith at fifth level, cause fuck it. Go there. Oh, that's bad. Invulnerable, yep. Please stop hitting him. Yeah, my plan is to take out the minions first. The minions and the mind flare. 20 damage on the mind flare will take. Okay, that's fine. Smith and Tangle. Can't quite entangle them yet. Can we dash? We can. Okay, get over there. Sometimes the only way out is through. I concur. Um, what are we going to do? We will ensnaring strike. Why not? Um, you know what? We'll just do a normal attack. Sod it. We'll take it. I think we have given offense. Tank those hits, Jahira. Yep, that's fine. Tank them. Tank them, tank them, tank them. Alright. Flame Blade. Fourth level. Nice. Nice. That's it, come off to Shadow Heart. That's okay, we'll take it. Okay, Shadow Heart. We will do Spirit Guardians so they run into the damage. Just like that. And we'll do a mass healing word at fourth level. Beautiful, and we'll run this way a little bit. Oh, Karlak. What are you incubating? Focus your attack, soldiers. Luna Blessing, okay. I'm wondering if we need to leave Jahira here, to be honest. Stay alive, Shadowheart. I need your help. Okay, this is going terribly. Okay, um, is she still down? No, she isn't. She's alive. Good. This is gonna feel good. You are frenzied. Good, good, good. In that case. Come on, Karlak. Okay, and again. That's okay. Beautiful. My little Woodward. Can you now entangle these people, please? There we go. Uh, kill the Incubane. They give HP to Ketherick and plus more means to distract. Yeah, yeah. How do I get up here, though? Well, I guess I have to climb this thing, right? Not yeah, okay. Jahira, my dear. By your command. If you could come over here, that'd be swell. OK, 
Ketherick's over there. We will do an ice storm at fourth level. Can't reach destination. It's so close. Um, Conjure Woodland Bee in there. We'll do that at fifth. You know, put you... Not down there, apparently. Put you here. Dream cannot reach. That'll do. Just need extra tanking. You're all dead. Good. So we'll do another mass healing words at fourth level. And then we'll do a cure wounds at third level. There we go. Oh, Jahira. Oh, Jahira. Focus your attack, soldiers. Come on, take it out. That's fine. That's fine, we like that. Um, Shadow Heart's okay there. Beautiful. Get your hero up. Please. There we go. Who's that on the floor? Aelin. Okay. It is go time, Karlak. Um, come over here. No executioner. Awesome. We'll take the crit though. And again. Easy. The Dryad. We will do spike growth. Just here. Awesome. Great little spell. And get your shillelagh going. And you. Come up here, please, and smack the shit out of this one. Awesome. And this is why we brought you here with us. Healing word. On yourself. Immune to poison. Should have guessed. And another mass healing word, please. Keep everyone alive. Oh, Aelin. Stay alive. Beautiful. And again. Come on, he's so close to dying. Easy, I think. What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. I bet we can kill you. Wait and see. Oh, Lord don't say that, Harry. Lord of Bones. I am here. I am ready. I am yours. He's about to morph into something else, isn't he? You dare end one who belongs to me. I am the smile of the world cleansed skull. I am the regrets of those who remain. And the restlessness of those who are gone. I am the haunt of mausoleums. 
Well, fuck. <laughs> Carry the dasher of hope. You really are, man. You really are. <clears throat> 225 health. Fuck yes. <sighs> okay, Karlak, if that's how you really feel. Hey, come on. You know, we should probably drop a quick save before I have to redo the whole fight. Okay. Jahira. You're not Jahira, you are this thing. You don't just smack it. Wait, are we? Who are we? We are the Dryad, okay ensnared now. Good. I need you to keep taking out these things. And I thought we were going to be friends. That's a you problem, to be honest. Alright, you hero. Do your thing. Come on. Okay, we'll take it. Shadowheart. I don't quite know what to do with you, to be honest. Heal everyone up a little bit. <laughs> wow. Please stop missing. Oh, really? Alright, my little woodwode, do your thing. Okay, um, we should be able to do sneak attack, right? If we don't miss. Okay, what do we have here? Brace, improvised weapon, enraged throw. Leave. All right, we're just gonna go swing for the fences. Oh man, these misses. Okay, and again. Awesome, my little woodwode, take this thing out. Awesome. What are you? Okay. Oh, there's one over here. But I can't seem to do anything. Why not? Alright, we'll get a fire shield going. I don't know why. Maybe it'll be helpful. Um, Karlak. And again. Poor Aelin. RNG being nasty again, I know. <coughs> okay, that's good. That's good. That's a miss. Okay, what's next? Got a trophy called No Free Lunches. That thing looks like a dollar store Halloween decoration. That's amazing. <laughs> Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. Damn, look at him. GG, you did it. Cheers, dude. The rats! Together! We have crushed him! Brain and body! No! 
make our way toward our fates. Unleashed! You have my sword. My fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. <laughs> He's already dead, lady. I'll say Aelin's a bit pissed. Yeah, she's now scary. Yeah, she is a scary lady. Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. All right, let's steal this. Should we just take his head as well? The body is cooling. But energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable. Truly. Oh, hi. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw. Held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it. And these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain. To subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. <sighs> How is it that you're able to leave the Astral Prism now? What are these stones? I came here looking for a cure. I still haven't found one. Do you know who our enemies are? Ketrick transformed during the fight. What was that? How is it you're able to leave the Astral Prism now? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. Okay, um, what are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities, this must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Um, I don't know much of D&D. Why is there a huge brain floating, float, huge brain floating around? So the huge brain is the elder brain. Now, what happens is the little tadpoles, the thing we've got on the head, they all, when they're in like a big old pool in a colony, they'll duke it out. And they'll eat each other. And whoever is the survivor, like, evolves like a Pokemon into the Elder Brain. And the Elder Brain is the leader of the Mind Flayers we're fighting. He's, like, the um, the colony leader. So the Mind Flayers can survive without this Elder Brain. And they'll be much more independent and rely on their own intelligence. But if they're within a colony that has an Elder Brain, the Elder Brain is the dude. He's, like, he's the colony leader, basically. Um... And they all start from the little tadpoles that are just floating around. Well, off to do, off for a bit, stuff to do. No worries, Harry. Cheers for hanging out, buddy. Uh, do you know who our enemies are? One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the Chosen of the Dead Three. Okay, thanks for the lesson. No, my pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure. Um, chosen of the Three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an Elder Brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Um, what do we do now? What hope do we have if the gods themselves are involved? I didn't come to fight gods, I just want my parasite removed. Yeah, what hope do we have if the gods themselves are involved? Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. 
The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. <laughs> Probably easier said than done, but okay. Oh shit, look at all this. We're going to have to send this to Karlak. Papa, I love you. Love from IZ. There's a bunch of stuff down there. Alright, let's jump. I want to loot. And there's a bunch of loot over here. Look at all these goodies. And we love the absolute. Bunch of silver glass. We do love wine. Invasion plans? Yep, we've seen them. Lord Gortash, the Committee of Concerned Partries would like to extend an invitation to a formal meeting at their High Hall to discuss plans short and long term for the economic livelihood of Baldur's Gate. Tuesday the 12th of noon at luncheon will be served. May we presume your attendance. Underneath this book concerning the cult of the Absolute and the dangers it presents is scrawled this response to the text. This hastily written drivel is admittedly well intentioned. Its author is clearly fizzing with fear of the Absolute. The problem is that they conflict the rise of the cult with other things like the heat of death of the universe. The resurrection of one-eyed Vecna, the Lich. To necromancics, that's a lot of words. We'll read them at some point. Um, are we stuck? No, we seem to be okay. Right. This way we go. Is there anything over here? It doesn't appear so. Okay. Come on then, team. We're, I'm guessing, using this. Come on. Portal to the surface. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? Um, I don't know how this plot fits together yet, but we will stop him. It seems he's a servant of Bane, as Kethrick served Michael. Who knows what powers he's gained since you knew him? We'll find out when we get to Baldur's Gate. I don't know how this plot fits together yet, but we will stop him. I was his bodyguard. I looked after him with my life. I trusted him more than anything. He gave me away to Zariel just for kicks. He ruined my life just when it was starting. And now he'd use up the entire sword ghost. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! Well, okay. <laughs> she is angry. Um, we'll do it together, whatever it takes. He can't get away with what he's done. To me. To us. He won't get away with it. I, I believe you. A long day. Better stop to rest soon. What's our journal say? Uh, we should go after him. All just going to Baldur's Gate, isn't it? Yeah, it's all going to Baldur's Gate. Okay, that's fine. Well, what a plot twist. I'm here. And... And so are you. And my father, he... 
He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? Peachy. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Well, how romantic and cute. Oh, there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... We know each other. Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy and fought well against your changed father. May he <laughs> rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. Yeah, he's so cute, right? I have more to thank you for than I knew. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? Sure. Um, yeah, you'd be most welcome. We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. I don't think now, you could beat her up. Leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. Okay, well, they're going to go sucker in each other. Um, I guess we might try and do the same. Someone want to come and sucker me? That's the weirdest thing I could have said. Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. Um, I'm glad to come. So when will this curse actually be lifted? What happened to Oliver, exactly? Did Thaniel absorb him? Um, yeah, one to Oliver, exactly. Did Thaniel absorb him? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person. If the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. Me too. Um, so when will the curse actually be lifted? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. Um, I'm glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. Um, well now, you've got what you wanted after all. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. Well, I'll take all the help I can get. I'm glad to have and you. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. Oh, don't try and fuck me as well. God damn it. Everyone in this game is a horny bastard. Are you Art Culligan? You are. When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he sought out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel. Lifted the curse and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. Oh, good. Um, yeah, Bogdarian, I grew up hearing stories of Duke Elton. I uh, was curious about what he was like. Gruff and intimidating. 
But he had the courage of ten men, and a love for Baldur's Gate few could match. I don't know if this Duke Ravengard is the same, but I will say this. The Flaming Fist are the cornerstone of the city, and the Dukes are its foundation. I hope you can save him, for the good of Baldur's Gate. Uh, I was going to say something inappropriate. But, uh, I was going to say something inappropriate about Halston, but nah. No, you've got to say it now, Tiny. Out with it. Uh, come with me. I can use a flaming fist by my side. Thank you. But look at me. I am a relic. A glimpse of history barely strong enough to stand on his own two feet. Besides, Nathaniel should have someone here when he wakes up. It's the least I can do. Okay, then I wish you luck. Thank you for your help. You too, my friend. Thank you. From Daniel and I. We're such a fucking hero. We are such a hero. Look at us. Is there anything for us to do on this map? I don't know why I'm running. No, it looks like we've done everything. Can't we go then? Let's tend to our wounds. Hey, Will. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure, we're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Amen. Uh, the absolute cult has Raven God. Where will they take him? Would you know about Gortash and Orin? Mirazora said you can say what you led to your pact and exile. It's time I know the whole truth. All right. The, yeah, the absolute cult has Raven God. Where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Fantastic. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash. And even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Yeah, me too. Mazora said you can say what led to your pact and exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Um, okay, yes, but first question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? Um, I'd give my life if it meant keeping the residents safe. As would I. And more. I was 17. Father, older Ravenguard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon made its move. They sound cool. Um, yeah, what's the cult of the dragon? I've never heard of them. A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses, the dragon Tiamat. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Okay, let's do it. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. 
Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. Good old Tiamat. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Okay, surely Missouri doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? Yeah, that is a great choice. Why would she? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Um, sacrificing your soul to save the city was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. Great. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Awesome stuff. Go yourself into a right little pickle there, didn't you? Um, is that how you lost your eye in the battle with the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. Yeah, of course she I does. I could flee to the spine of the world, or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. Great. Okay. Um, and what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Man, poor Will. It was brave what you did for the city. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. Okay, uh, we'll return to this subject later. I understand. Okay, um, you must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best. A traitor at worst, and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Okay, uh, do you miss your father? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Okay, um, we'll leave. Does anyone else have anything to say? Jahira is still an Albert. <laughs> I would not linger in this land over long. Okay, do I need to rest out of here? Leave me. I guess. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing I can't. Oh no, they are here. Okay. Well, let's then deal with these guys. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. Um, yeah, you and Aelin seem to have a lot of history. What happened? A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorm is, was, my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, 
We were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Um, certainly, there's magic in a look. Yeah. That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. Okay. Um, he'd become the chosen of Mike Rule, only a monster would rip his own daughter from the grave. Did he shout boo? We're not saying that. He became the chosen of Mike Rule. I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land. My home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. I mean, that's fair, yeah. Understandable. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. Okay. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. I feel like she's going to die tonight. <laughs> Um, step closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorne, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Um, I couldn't have done it without you. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. Amen. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Me too. Me too. Um, there's still a great deal about you I don't know. Pray, ask, and I will tell. You know, we need to wrap this episode up. If you have enjoyed, please drop a like. That's amazingly. If you're new and not subscribed, but you'd like to, that'll also be amazing. Hopefully, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.